I'm kicking myself really because I finally come to understand what is going on on those two walls which are side by side where there's one species of asplenium growing on one wall and one species growing on the other wall and believe it or not the answer is due to the motorbikes that are parked against that wall. It's really blindingly obvious. If you think about it, if you've got motorbikes parked all the time in front of a wall, you're creating a really a specific environment for these ferns to grow. And one of the ferns obviously likes that environment and the other doesn't. So one fern grows there and doesn't, and the other doesn't. Um, the maidenhair spleen, well, this one here, um, Asplenium trichomenes, um, obviously likes the environment in, by the motorcycles. Well, what kind of environment does that produce? Well, the, micro, the uh, motorcycles shade the fern on the wall and stop at the wind blowing against them so much. They might also provide a, a more humid environment in the uh, area around the ferns. So I think that is the answer as to why maidenhair spleenwort grows on that wall so abundantly because most of the time the motorbikes are parked there in front of it. Obvious really isn't it? And thanks again to John Young for his post, sorry his comment, which led me to realise the two um, ecological requirements of the two ferns have led to that difference in the distribution of them. It's not to do with choice, it's to do with the environment that those ferns are living in. So sorry to lead you up a wrong path. Um, and I should have guessed that earlier, really, because every time I went to try and film those walls, the motorbikes were there. I should have figured that the motorbikes had got something to do with the distribution of the ferns. OK, well, I've um, realised it now. Thanks to John and uh, hope you've enjoyed this video.